All right, what is up, YouTube? So I want to give you guys a lesson I think will be very valuable. So what I did was I pressure washed this driveway with very little pretreatment to show you guys the mediocre results you'll get. And this is honestly, this is the result right here that a lot of guys will finish up a driveway and go grab the customer and tell them, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'll finish with the driveway cleaning. And this is amateur results. So let me show you what we got here. We have a couple things going on. So we have these acorn and leaf stains in the driveway that a lot of guys will wash concrete and you know just use the pressure washer or even a surface cleaner and they'll tell the customer afterwards mr and mrs customer these stains don't come out unfortunately and how do i know that because that used to be me and this is the difference between education and or being a pro, uh, expert or professional versus an amateur is your expertise in what you're doing right so not only do we have this, we also have these lines. You can see all these lines here. And what is this? So one, it could be from too much pressure, but that's not it. I can tell you what it is. It's actually from it not cleaning the surface good enough. So you can see really, if you look close, it's still pretty dirty. Now when it dries, it won't be as bad, but it's still wet right now. But nonetheless, this is the results we have. And this is just honestly not satisfactory. If I was a customer, I would want to know where these spots come from. So, you know, we still see how bad this looks. But that's lesson number one is this is mediocre results, but I'm not just going to show you that. I'm going to show you how do we fix it and, you know, and how do we get more professional results when we're cleaning concrete, um, you know, regardless of what, say, you know, we have super expensive equipment or not. There's a certain process you can follow that should allow you to get better results. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to not only get rid of these leaf stains, but we're just going to fix this driveway up that was pressure washed with pretty much just a service cleaner and barely, barely any pretreatment. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so what we're going to need to effectively clean this concrete is we're going to use our soft wash machine. So what we're going to do is essentially we need to put down a stronger mix on this concrete to really eat in. I mean, to really eat the rest of these organics up on the driveway and give us a nice uh, clean uh, surface. So one, we could prevent these lines and leaf stains by initially doing a solid pretreatment. And the best thing I recommend is having a soft wash machine so you can pull a nice mix. So currently right now I'm using my uh, 5.5 GPM Stuff Pro soft wash machine. It's been very reliable, I highly recommend it. And the link will be in the description plus a little coupon code so you can save some money. But let's go ahead and spread this driveway down just so I can show you the difference that um, a good pre-treatment or this, in this case would be a post-treatment makes on concrete. All right, all right guys, time for the action. So we're gonna go ahead and start spraying this concrete. And I want you to notice guys, as I start spraying this, you're gonna see these acorn stains start to lighten up. They're gonna turn brown, and then essentially they're gonna disappear, really. That's what's gonna happen. So right now, uh, the machine is kind of priming, so it's not really coming out uh, full speed right now. But we're just gonna turn this driveway. We're gonna make some improvements really quickly, just by laying down a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of SH, what I call the magic sauce. And guys, so it's important though, don't sell yourself short when, you know, doing your cleaning business, whatever you're doing, regardless of your pressure washing, carpet cleaning, anything, you know, go deep and get the necessary knowledge it takes to get professional results. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the whole driveway. All right, guys, here's another section just so you guys can see. We're not gonna actually be doing with the rust stains. It's an upsell. Uh, they weren't really, didn't really care about, but you can see all these lines and this section is pretty dirty. And like I said, this is a result a lot of people get. So I'm gonna go ahead and applicate this section and show you guys what it looks like after we post treat it. All right, guys, the solution is still doing its thing, but I want you guys to see the difference that a post treatment made on this driveway, literally just off of using our soft wash machine, putting down about you know a two percent mix on here this is what it's done so as it dries because the chemical is still working it's still active it's going to fade these lines as it dries so it's fading away but you can guys this is a huge difference it's made and 
you know, this is how you separate yourself because you could have walked away and just told the customer that, you know, what we had before was the final results. And, you know, you could have got over on them and they probably would have believed you. But that's not what this business is about. That short-term business, what's going to happen is, yeah, they'll pay you. Yeah, you know, they may say they will refer you. But what's going to happen is you're never going to hear from these customers again. Um, or maybe you will because maybe those are the $99 guy customers that are looking, you know, for just any old service. But to separate yourself, literally knowing the post street. So we got rid of all those ugly black stains. I'm gonna put another before picture just so you guys can see. And remember the before picture is after the, the driveway has already been pressure washed. So what we just did was we pressure washed it, but this is literally the difference between doing a, uh, either you could have done a really good pre-treatment or if those are your results, knowing to do a post-treatment as well to improve the quality of your work and this is you know a much much better and more presentable product than what we had before guys so hopefully um you learn from this lesson hopefully this adds some value because a lot of people um let me flip the camera real quick a lot of people in different groups i'm in they'll uh post a picture of the leaf stains or acorn stains and be like i can't get these out you know what chemical do i use and guys start talking about f9 and all this stuff it doesn't take f9 literally you're using your main chemical s8 sodium hypochlorite bleach but you got to know that when it comes to cleaning out cleaning these different things is that sh is used in different ratios and all it is is the concentration level is going to affect the cleaning power so all if we need uh like clean leaf stains or we're cleaning a roof or whatever we just need to up the ratio which means that we don't cut the concentration as much we don't add we don't cut it with too much water so for example if you don't have a soft wash machine you have leaf stains you could put a 50-50 mix in a pump sprayer and that would easily take care of it just like I just did. Uh, and you might not even need 50%. You could probably go with even um, a 40% uh, or 30% um, water to, uh, or bleach to uh, water. So that'd be 30% bleach, 70% water. You could do that as well. That'll probably take care of the job. But um, just that little tip, that's how you get rid of your uh, leaf stains and present a much better product. And like I said, once again, as it dries, it's going to fade those lines away that we've seen before and they're already starting to go away. But guys, uh, I, I advise you, if you're going to be in this business or any business, go deep, get more knowledge, learn more about, you know, the industry you're in, um, learn about the chemicals, the different processes. I'm to this day, I'm no expert. I'm still learning just like, you know, you guys are learning, but anytime I learn, you know, I want to pass the knowledge on uh, to help you guys out. See you. So you can present a better product and you can charge more for your services. Um, and you know and have a more valuable business in the marketplace. All right guys once again Thank you for watching this video like subscribe, you know same thing I say every single video and let me know if you got any value from this video drop a, a, a one in the comments If you got some any value out of this video. All right guys see you in the next one. Peace out